Hi guys, it's Rel Klein, and you're watching Rel Reviews, and today I'll be reviewing the latest episode of Supernatural Season 15, Episode 3. As you can tell, I'm sitting down because I do not need a stand. This episode was better. I wouldn't say it's like one of the, on the top list of episodes of Supernatural. Definitely wasn't that. Maybe I just thought it was better because compared to the last episode. Um, but yeah. So it was better because there wasn't like all these other things happening kind of crazy on um a lot did happen this episode and I'm sure a lot of people are gonna be mad at that this episode because three characters died three so spoilers don't like don't watch my review if you haven't watched the episode like come on come on come on guys <laughs> so I'll talk about each character that died just because that's kind of it was one of those episodes where like time went past and it felt like a lot didn't happen so we're just going to get into it so catch died very early on that demon that i guess wanted to kill jack killed no not jack the demon possessing jack i don't know what i'm saying bell as they call him nicknames so that demon killed catch and i was like he's not really dead like catch just died before he probably is a thing that brings him back to life but then he wasn't coming back to life, so I'm like, what if Catch really died? And then later on, we see Cass kill Belle, but before he kills him, he's like, oh my god, I'm Jack! I'm like, like, no sir, no sir. So he died, so I wonder, like, is Alex... Well, obviously, Jack is going to come back because we saw him empty, so I guess that storyline is going to come up soon. And then, well, Rena died, which I was, like, really confused with all the logistics, but, like, I trust the writers, so I was like, okay, it kind of makes sense to die. All those souls were going into her belly. Kind of looked a little bit more down than that, but I'm going to say belly and not something else. And then she had, like, this very, like, slow and, like, big goodbye, because she was, like, well, maybe Mary Winchester had more, but she was, like, definitely, like, at least the second, like, most female character in episode. So, I was just surprised that with this whole season left, um, 17 episodes left, they just killed Rowena off, they killed these characters off, but it's the last season, these things are gonna happen, and it's crazy, I mean, I don't know. It was also, we always knew that Sam was the one who had to kill Rowena, so he did that, and it was kind of a very soulful goodbye, like, he cried, I wish they kissed. <laughs> that was just me. Talked about three characters dying. There really isn't that much to talk about because the episode wasn't that long. Uh, plans were being created, which I kind of liked. Uh, I was actually, yeah, I was confused with the whole soul thing, so I guess they're coming out one at a time out of this tear, and I thought it was interesting that it was a tear. Did it get sealed up? I don't even remember. I think that's what Reno is doing, to get it sealed up. So the whole thing that Jack was trying to do to go to hell, uh, yeah, like, it was so funny when Cass had to read that thing, because it sounded, I'm Jewish, so I, like, had to learn Hebrew in Hebrew school. It sounded kind of like Hebrew, which they have, like, used in the past, like, it might not be, like, perfect Hebrew, but it's very similar to Hebrew. And it was so funny when Belle was like, you have to sing it. Because, like, in Hebrew, in synagogue, in temple, you have to, like, sing the prayers. And there's actually a certain way that you have to sing it. And when you're, like, learning your Torah portion or whatever. Well, half Torah portion, too. Whatever. They, like, have symbols that, like... It's not just symbols that you have to learn to, like, speak the language. It's symbols to learn, like, it tells you, like, how you're supposed to sing it. And I was so bad at that. I was so bad at that. Because I, like, I mean, I went to Hebrew school since first grade. So I was able to, like, learn the the symbols kind of like when someone from another country speaking another language comes to America when they're really, really young and has to learn English. It's kind of the same thing with me, how I like learned Hebrew. But then these symbols, like I didn't see them until I was like in sixth grade when I started learning, like getting ready for my bat mitzvah. So I had a lot of trouble with that and I had to like, 
I just like never really learned the symbols. I just like learned listening to the recordings, like how it was saying. So it's interesting that he had to sing that. I guess we were really confused over all along why Jack was trying to like work with them, and I guess this explains like he wanted to be very, very powerful. So I'm guessing that Cass stopped that, and then he's like not coming back to life. Like I'm just guessing that. All that happened, and I was like, oh, like it's sad these people die, but like it's. It feels more like a supernatural episode and that's what I wanted and also they ended the storyline which is good because I'm excited the promo for next week looks good so I'm excited for all that but the ending of the episode oh my god how can these two people not be officially canon but then break up oh my god it was so sad and I just wanted Dean to be like no stay stay so I don't, I don't even think Kaz might be in the next episode, looking at the promo he's not, and you know, Misha's not in every single episode of the season, so they, but I mean, like, come on, come on, I mean, they're obviously, like, they're building it up to be, like, something big when they do actually come together, but you know, they gotta make it happen, they have to, that's what I'm saying, I just, like, if they don't make it happen, we riot. We riot at dawn. So, overall, like, it wasn't, like, the, the best episode, but I felt it was more like a supernatural episode. I am more ready for the season. People are dropping like flies. There is no mercy for anyone. Cast us out of the bunker. What is happening? What is going on? Is the world still ending, or is it casually just more like killing monsters? Because I feel like I don't know how this is gonna end, but I just wanna say thank you, Supernatural, for getting back on pace, and let's, for the rest of the season, have all good episodes, really amazing storylines, have Destio become canon, ooh, who said that, ooh, 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 anyway, uh, guys, thanks for watching, this is Girl Calling Movie Well Reviews, as always, my bed is never made, <laughs> so, um, thanks guys, season 15, episode 3 review, and bye!